Hey guys, welcome to the class. If you're ready to embark with me on a journey of Pilates, let's get it started. We're gonna start with standing on the edge of the mat, just warming up your body from your toe till the top of your head. Bend your ankles by one, reaching your heels up. When you drop those heels down, try to do this really slow just pushing them down, trying to stretch those calf muscles. Don't forget about breathing, so we do deep breathing. And as you exhale, drop the heel down, one by one. Stand down and then we do deep breathing. As you inhale, you're gonna reach the arms up into the air. And as you exhale, like a candy cane, you're gonna roll forward each vertebra at a time. Imagine that you have a wall behind you, so you don't wanna press your glutes out. We're gonna go forward, hands with your shoulders distance apart, then you're gonna move the shoulders slightly forward, do deep breathings, hold the plank for five seconds, four, three, two, one, and then you're gonna roll the spine back up each vertebra at a time. Once the glutes are up, you're gonna do three steps back with your arms, and then like you have a wall behind you, you're gonna roll the spine back up each vertebra at a time. You do deep then inhale, and as exhale, remember the candy cane, and then you're gonna roll it back forward again, trying to reach the floor with your hands. You do three steps forward with your arms. And there is the plank. So we're gonna hold the plank again for five seconds. Tuck your belly in, four, three, two, one. And then you're gonna roll the spine back up. And then we're gonna do three steps back with your arms. And then you roll the spine back up one more as you do deep breathing. And exhale, roll it back down through each vertebra, touch the floor. And then you're gonna go forward one, two, three. You're gonna hold the plank for five seconds. Four, three, two, one, you roll the spine back up again, each vertebra at a time. We do three steps back with your arms. And as you roll your spine up, you do deep breath and inhale. One more as you go down. So this is the final. And we do one, two, three. For now, you hold the plank. You're gonna bend the knee. You bring the glutes down towards the heels. Holding the child pose and through the spine articulation, you're gonna go all the way back forward. Standing in a quadruped position, we're going to align the shoulders and the wrist. You're going to look down on the floor, separate the knees slightly apart so it's aligned with the hips. And then we're going to start bringing the arms up one by one. So when you reach the arm up, imagine that you want to pull your arm away from the shoulder. So you want to separate the arm bone from the shoulder. At the same time, while you're moving the arms, your back is nice in a straight position. You don't want to arch the back a lot. You don't want to flare the shoulder blades up nice and smooth. And the hand goes back to the same position where it was before. Beautiful. When the arm goes up, it's in parallel with the floor. And just one more with the left. Let's do the same with the legs. So you're gonna hold the same position and then we're gonna straighten the legs one by one. When you straighten the legs one by one, the upper body is not changing the position. So we're not crooking the back, right? So we're not changing the position of the pelvis. We're gonna do it nice and smooth. Beautiful. And each time when you bring the leg up, again, it's parallel with the floor and you wanna contract the glute a little bit. So try to squeeze it up. And exhale as the leg goes up, the toes are nice and pointed, creating a little bit of dissociation. The leg moves, the body stays. Just a couple. So now we're gonna challenge our balance. As you stay right here, if you feel pressure in your wrist, you can fold them out into, or just stand on your fists, which is very helpful. So we're gonna bring the right arm up, the left leg stays straight. We're gonna pull the elbow to the knee and then we're gonna straighten. Pay attention to the back. So now we're not curling the back, right? We're gonna try to keep it straight as much as it possible. 
and we push it away. So while moving my right arm in the left leg, I'm pushing the left hand into the floor, creating a little bit of resistance. And just one more amazing. You hold this for five seconds, four, three, two. One, we're gonna touch the floor with the hand and the toe, and then we're gonna reach it up. And then we reach it up. Let's just do for five more. And we exhale it. And we exhale it. Let's do for two. One more, we hold for five, four, three, two, one. We bring it back. We relax the upper back a little bit. And we do the same with the other side. So we're gonna bring the right leg up. The left arm goes up again. We don't move the upper body. We pull the elbow to the knee and then we straighten. While you're moving it, you can imagine that you hold something really important on the top of your back. So what you don't want to do, you don't want to drop the something on the floor. Probably it's very fragile. And let's do a couple. Exhale in, exhale out, hold this five seconds, four, three, two, and then you draw the arm down with the leg. Bring it down, reach it up, holding this beautiful alignment. Four more will be good. And exhale three, let's do two, and exhale, reach, hold four, three, two, one, and bring it down. Relax your wrist, just bring your body down in a child pose position to have a nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, you're gonna bring this all the way back. So we're gonna hold the same position, and then we will reach the left leg back up. So you're gonna lengthen it away from the hip. And give me a push up. When you do the push up, you pull the elbows towards the rib cage, and then you pulse the leg up. You look down at the floor, you do deep breath in, exhale, you reach it, you pulse the leg up. Again, you go down, you reach it, you pulse the slack up. You go over, you reach it, you pulse it up for three more. Exhale, pulse it up. Two, exhale, pulse it up. One, exhale, pulse it up. Bring it back down. Let's do the same with the right leg. As you're gonna straighten it up, you're still looking down on the floor. We're gonna bend the elbows, push up. Pulse the leg, deep breath in, and exhale. Pulse the leg up, so we're gonna engage the triceps. Core is engaged as well. And you engage the glute when you pulse the leg up. Beautiful contraction in the glute muscle now. Your arms are probably tired already. And exhale, beautiful. One more left, exhale, pulse. Knee goes down, we're gonna sit on your glutes as you do deep breath and inhale. Open through your chest. And exhale, bring your arms all the way back down. I want you to stand up. So you're gonna stand, stand in a straight position. You align your ribs, you align the hips and the knees. Find your center, tuck the belly in, straighten the arms right in front of you. It's gonna be parallel with the floor. You do deep breath in as you're holding the same straight line. You're gonna go lower, exhale as you bring the body back up. If you feel pain in your knees, so I would recommend to fold the mat in two, depending on the thickness of the mat, or just put something under your knees. Just I want you to be, be really comfortable on the mat. Beautiful, and you feel those squats. Deep breath in and exhale. Wonderful, let's do for four more. And you bring it back up. Deep breath in and back up. Let's do two, engage the core as well. You reach it up, always look forward. One more, you hold this for three, two, one. You reach it back up, you're gonna bring the hands back down. So now we're gonna press your toes down into the floor. You're gonna push your hands down into the floor, deep breath in. Exhale as you reach the knees up, touch the floor. Reach it up, touch the floor. Exhale, tap, exhale, tap. 
five, back in, four, back in, three, in, two, in, one, in, back, arms in front of you, and we do five more in, exhale, four, back in, three, belly in, good, two, so this time with the final, we're going to hold this, go five, four, three, two, one, back in, touch the floor, so now you're going to again, tuck your toes down on the floor, reaching is up, so now we're going to combine, step back down without using the momentum, roll it back in, down, hands down on the floor, knees up, bring it back, go all the way up, trying not to pull the glutes so far away, and back in, so you feel that your quads are getting on fire, and back in, straight and engaging the glutes, squeezing them forward, back in, trying not to move the glutes much, remember, so you lower it, you engage the glutes, they may stick out a little bit, but not really much, right, just a little bit, you touch the floor, knees up, lower it down, stick the glutes in, lower, three more times, and then the last one, we're going to do a little bit of challenge, Squeeze it up, lower, back in, touching the floor, lifting, down, in. So you're going to hold it right here and hands are going to be behind your head and we do rotations. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, one more, back. Hands down on the floor, knees up, and you're going to pulse it down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Reach those glutes up, tuck your belly in, and then bend the knees one by one. In and exhale. Hands are down on the floor and through the spine articulation. You're going to roll your spine back forward, deep breath in. Bring your knees down on the floor as you're coming up in a swan position. Inhale. And as you exhale, you're going to bend the elbows down by the side of the ribcage. Toke your nose down on, in the floor, and as you inhale, you're going to reach it back up, ribs in. And exhale, we're going to go back down. Deep breath in as you inhale up. And as you exhale, we're going to go back down. One more as you in. And then exhale. So now we're going to stretch the arms forward. If you have a yoga block, so you can keep the yoga block right in front of you, just you put the hands down on the block. So you're going to poke the nose down on the floor. As you inhale, imagine that you want to reach the left knee with the left hand. And then you're going to press it back down. Then you do the same with the right side. And then you press it back in. Going to the left, exhale back in. The right, exhale back in. And we will do it four, five more each side. Each time you want to create the elongation in your body. Exhaling to the side, down. Reach it out to the side, bring it back. We have six more left in total. And each time you're going to reach the knees. If you don't have a yoga block, it's absolutely normal. Just a little bit more comfortable. And exhale, beautiful. Can rips in as you go to the side. And exhale. And just two more left as you push it. You bring it back. And exhale as you press it. And then you bring it back. Hands are right in front of you. You tuck your toes down on the floor. And then you're going to roll the spine back up. It's vertebrae right at time. Pressing the heels down on the floor. Three steps back with your hands. And then we're going to reach your body up again. It's vertebrae right at time as you... Do a deep breath in, inhale, and exhale, hands right in front of the chest, so we're going to be ready for, we're going to be ready before the challenge, again, relax your ankles, one more deep breath in, and as you exhale, you're going to roll your spine forward, so now again, three steps forward, you're going to hold this, 
you reach the right leg up, you're gonna bring it down. Inhale, go into the deep lunge. Exhale, you're gonna go back down, touch the floor, straighten the leg, reach the leg up, press it back in, deep breath in, you extend into the deep lunge. We're gonna do five more like that. And back in, pulse, step forward. Inhale, up deep latch, engaging the glute muscle. And pulse, reach it back in and inhale. Beautiful, with three, have three more left. Straighten, pulse, bring it back, back, deep breath in. Exhale as you go back forward, you straighten the leg. You pulse it up, you step forward, back in. And one more. Straighten, pulse it up, back in. Hold this for five, four, three, two, one. Shift the weight to the right leg. Step back forward, pull the left knee up. Deep breath and hold this in. Four, three, two, one. Left leg goes back, you hold for three, two, one. Hands down on the floor, plank. Left leg goes up, shift the weight forward, then inhale, and exhale, back in. Left leg goes up, weight a little bit forward, then you distribute it evenly between two legs. Inhale, exhale, you go back into the plank, reaching it up, back in three, and as exhale, you're gonna touch the floor again. We have four more left like that. Leg goes up, forward, inhale, and as exhale, we're going to bring it back in, down, pulse, bring it back up, and exhale, you're going to touch the floor again, straighten, pulse, lift it back in, deep breath in, and exhale, touch the floor, straighten, pulse the left, one more left. And exhale, touch, straighten, pulse, bring it back, hold this lunge, four, three, two, one, shifting the walk, the weight forward, hold four, three, two, one, step back, open three, two, one, and then bring the legs back. Again, bend the knees one by one. Let's work a bit with the balance. So you're gonna stand in the center of the mat. You're gonna face that way. So it will be more uh, for comfortable for you to see me. So you're gonna shift the weight to the left leg. Right leg is up. You're gonna face forward. Drop the leg under your thigh. Straighten, bend the knee. Straighten, bend the knee. Two more. You're gonna hold this for five, four, Three, two, one, bend the knee, still keeping it up, hands are on your waistline, and then we're gonna straighten the leg forward for five more times without using support. One, two, three, beautiful. Four, five, hold four, three, two, one, slowly bring it down, tap the floor, reach the left straight leg up. Tap the floor, reach straight leg up. Tap the floor for four more, for three, beautiful, two, one more, bend this, and then you still stay on your left leg, straighten the left leg, bring the right leg behind, control balance, try to distribute the weight throughout the left foot evenly, be careful. Don't shift the pelvis much, so keep it nice and parallel with the floor. And then you push it away and you look down at the floor. And then you lift the leg up and then you press it away. Beautiful. We're almost here. And just one more and as you exhale. And then you bring it back in. Step down with the right foot on the floor. Heels up, heels down. And the final touch. So we're going to bring the leg up. Exhale, bend. Back is beautiful and straight, so you look forward. And four, three, exhale. Two, one more, and a bit of challenge, so you straighten, five, 
four, three, two, one. Oops, touch the floor, exhale up. Touch the floor, exhale up. Let's do for four, three, up, two, up, one more. Up, you bend the knee and then you're gonna look down, trying to keep the right leg straight and then we're gonna bend the knee, we bring it back in. Exhale as we're gonna look down at the floor, engaging the right glute and again, shifting the weight evenly through the right foot. And exhale. And back in. Two more. Pelvis neutral. So now I lost balance. <laughs> and exhale. Pull it back in, down on the floor, and just relax those glutes. Bend the knees one by one as you do deeper. Then you inhale, open your legs wide apart. And exhale, you're gonna roll the spine back down. Try to touch the floor. If you can touch the floor, this is absolutely fine. Use a yoga block, or if you have a chair close by your side, left hand is down, right arm is reaching up, so you look at your right hand. And as exhale, you're going to bring the right hand down, the left arm goes up as you look at your left hand. And exhale, two arms down on the floor, and then we're going to just bend the knees one by one. In and exhale. And then we're going to bring the legs back in together, Roll your spine up, each vertebrae at a time. As you inhale, lift them up into the air. Exhale, hands right in front of you. Thank you for watching me. I hope you enjoyed this class as I did. Don't forget to press the like button and follow me on YouTube and Instagram. Bye.